Hello everybody, welcome back once again to my F1 23 career mode. We are now at Las Vegas for the penultimate round of this Season 2 campaign. Off the back of a win in Portimao, we are now in Vegas, trying to keep that momentum going. First up is qualifying one, and the championship is getting very close to. This is going to be quite a juicy finish to the season, and I am looking forward to watching it unfold. Brushing the barrier a couple of times on this qualifying lap, though, that's not going to help me much, but you know what? I'm going full pelt here to try and get myself out of Q1. So far, the bar is set. We're heading into the last sector now. It's been a reasonably good time, but I always get a little bit unsettled on that curve. But we are now on the power, about to complete the lap here in Vegas. What is the first time going to be? Is it going to be enough? That should do for Q1. And now we're in Q3, having made it through Q2. But where are we going to put the car on the grid? We cross the line! And despite not doing too well in Q1, we got through just about. We have managed to secure another pole position. So we are on pole here for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. And I am looking forward to the race. But with rain forecast, it is going to be a challenge. And George Russell, with qualifying complete, all that remains now... Welcome along to Las Vegas. Saturday night's all right for driving. Well, it is here tonight as F1 takes over the entire city and the Formula One circus comes to town. So a lap of Las Vegas comprises 3.8 miles and three straights, but our drivers won't be at top speed down them today as it's very wet out there. It does rain in the desert, sometimes, and now it poses a question of bravery and of strategy. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Sparkles lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Russell, Ocon, Perez, Sainz, Gasly, Norris, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, Magnussen, Leclerc, Albon, Holkenberg, Liam Lawson, Bottas, Sargent, Sonoda, Joe, Oscar Piastri, De Vries, and Dennis Hauger. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. The rain has definitely arrived in Las Vegas. These conditions are more suited to boat racing. But it's lights out and away we go in a rain-soaked Vegas. We've got a very good start off the line. Heading into turn one in the lead. And we've already got a red flag. I'm not sure what happened at the start or whether that was just purely down to the weather. I have no idea, but it was too wet to get going then, that's for sure. So we have a red flag and now we've just got to pick the strategy and pick what's best moving forward. You can still see the storm icon on the strategy there. So we've still got insanely heavy rain falling here. And we're about to get underway again for a second time. It's lights out and away we go. And again, just getting that flawless getaway off the line. Heading into the first corner. But there's already a yellow flag at the back. And I think that's going to be someone stricken. I'm going to wait to see at the top who it is. It is Nick DeFries. Nick DeFries is out of the race and we have another red flag we haven't even completed a racing sector yet and yet despite that we are on a second red flag so once again it's to line up on the grid the storm icon is no longer in the clouds but it's still absolutely chucking it down but we're gonna get the race underway now in conditions that are still much wetter than anything F1 would race in nowadays. But it is lights out and away we go. Heading into turn one. 
and we have actually got a race underway. It's lap five already, despite, like I said, having not done a racing sector. We're in the lead. Esteban Ocon has snuck up to second with the multiple starts, but he somehow managed to elapse a penalty. I'm not quite sure what that's for. I've managed to go wide. I'm really struggling with this circuit in the wet. It's so difficult just to find the grip because there just doesn't appear to be any, especially in these extremely wet conditions. Look, at I'm sliding there. I'm really struggling keeping the car on the circuit. Just in that section alone, I've gone deep and that's allowed Esteban Ocon in the Alpine to take the lead. George Russell is now alongside me going for second. I'm using everything I can of overtake off the straight to try and get that lead back off of the Alpine of Ocon. He must think his birthday's come early, but now we're alongside him using the slipstream on the straight. But Ocon, more confident on the brakes than I dare be in. And that is the Alpine driver still leading the way as I am struggling to find any kind of grip in this extremely rain-soaked Las Vegas Grand Prix. We finally complete a racing lap and Ocon taking the fastest lap, but I'm wanting to go for an overtake here. We've got a better run out of the right-hander and we have retaken the lead of this Las Vegas Grand Prix. I now pull back across to take the racing line and I'm trying not to hit the wall there. But Ocon staying right with me. Verstappen has now moved ahead of Russell in third. And again, I'm just trying to find grip where it doesn't exist. We've got a safety car deployed. And that's because George Russell is out of the race. I want to see what's happened here. Has he just lit up the tyres? Yes, he has. He's lit up the tyres, gone round. And I think that's Verstappen that he's nearly taken with him. We're going to see now, is that Verstappen? Oh, I can't see which Red Bull that is, but I assume that is Verstappen. He's hit up the rear and nearly taken with him, but it's caused a bit of a traffic jam. I'm surprised that didn't end up being a third red, but it was a safety car. And actually, I apologize. I think that might have been Perez that he nearly took with him. But whatever, it is time to get back racing again. And in nine... <laughs> In about a third of the race distance, we've had two red flags and a safety car. This race is just going to be chaos. And we're only eight laps into it. So, leading the way, Ocon's about a second behind me. So I'm starting, I was starting to get away a bit, but now I'm struggling to keep, not only am I struggling to keep the car on track, I'm struggling to keep Esteban Ocon behind me. Who's having a look down the inside there. And again, so much more confident than I am on the brakes. I'm trying to hold it around the outside. But I'm also trying not to make contact with the Alpine. As we go side by side there. And look at signs behind Verstappen. Trying to make his place known here. As we complete the 10th lap onto lap 11. I'm defending to see if Ocon is going to try. And we've gone very deep there. And that allows Ocon into the lead. And Carlos Sainz is going to try and take second place. But I'm going to try and defend him by going to the inside. And we have successfully defended. But Esteban Ocon once again leading this race in the Alpine. Ocon's having a flyer here today. But now I'm going to take a very opportunistic dive up the inside. Which was less an opportunistic dive. And more about me missing my braking spot. Because I went off the circuit, I decide to give Esteban the place back. But now Carlos Sainz is having a look at trying to take second place. And this is the part of the circuit I'm struggling on. Look, Sainz is getting, almost getting through for second there. But I'm going to use my overtake early on and get the better exit. But this straight, it's I don't think anyone really wants to take a risky dive out of the slipstream in case they end up going round. These are extremely treacherous conditions here. And somehow we're holding on to P2. Ocon is starting to just get away from us a little bit here. But when we get round to the front end of the circuit, I've caught up with him again. So in set to one, the AI seems to be much slower. But in two and three, 
The AI are very quick. I've tried to go around the outside of Ocon there. That's not worked. Ocon's held the position as I went super deep. Am I going to take an opportunistic dive again here? No. But look at this. This is where I'm losing out as I go into the, those two fast corners. I'm nearly losing the car. I'm literally having to brake to get out of it. And in turn, that's allowing Ocon just to pull out a second or so down the road each time. By this point, he's got the gap up to four seconds because of how slowly I'm having to go through that section. But nobody can pass me on the straight, although Perez is now going to give it a good go as he gets alongside me. No way through there as we reach this halfway stage of this Vegas Grand Prix. And even under the braking, I'm just trying to keep the car on track. We're now into lap 15, and our teammate is in the pits, and the safety car is out. I did have a look at the replays, but there was no obvious reason for the safety car to come out. But we were all able to pit under the safety car, which means Ocon no longer has his penalty. And as you can see now, I've taken a dive up the inside of Ocon, and I am now back in the lead of this Las Vegas Grand Prix with just eight laps left to go, including the lap we are on. It feels like so much has already happened in this race, and we're still only in the closing stages now as I try to build the lead on Perez and Ocon behind me. Ocon, I think, has lost a bit of ground. Perez has dropped a second behind me. So I'm hoping now that I can start pulling away, and we're watching a McLaren of Lando Norris going, getting it wrong spinning into the wall he's now stuck where he is and you guessed it it's another safety car this race that seems to have been going on forever we've got another safety car in it but at the end of lap 21 with four laps to go the safety car's in i kiss the barrier and very nearly lose it but somehow We've kept the car on the circuit, and I don't appear to have that much damage. So, it looks like if I could just not do that again, we could hold on to this win. But Perez is giving it everything. Like I said, at the end, towards Sector 2, I really struggle in that one part of circuit. I'm now making Perez go super tight. He does go super tight. He goes for the lead but he isn't able to hold the speed and we just retake it once again. So Perez not able to go for it and I think Ocon's going to be tempted to try and get second in the Alpine. He's having a wonderful evening here in Vegas. We've now got three laps to go. What drama is to occur? Can I hold on to this lead? Perez having another go. And I'm really struggling here. I'm getting sandwiched almost by Ocon and Perez. What am I to do? I'm going to take the inside and break as late as I dare. And we are able just to hold on to the lead. But Perez and Ocon are still waiting in the wings here. And I'm really just fighting to keep hold of the lead. But we have been able to hold on despite... Perez and Ocon throwing everything at me. We take a second win on the trot and win what was probably the most challenging race of my life. For any drivers for racing conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and had the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today.
I don't think I've driven a more stressful 25 laps in any race ever before. And keeping the car on track just proved to be the biggest challenge. Well, keeping it on track and keeping it out of the wall. The concentration needed exhausted me. But that was the win here in Las Vegas with Sergio Perez getting second and Ocon taking the final podium place. It means that we have now jumped Charles Leclerc in the championship and we still have an outside chance of taking fifth from Perez. But Alonso and Sainz are now level pegging in the standings going into the final race with Max Verstappen five points off. Who is going to win the world championship? And am I going to be able to pit Perez? Or will it be P6? Or will Leclerc grab me? Championship finale is coming up next. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, TTFN, guys.